although I was in, remarkably successful in many ways, I was a PhD, I was a congressman, had a lot of very exciting things going on, there was a part of me that was truly hollow. And it was almost like the harder I worked and the more things I did, the hollower I got inside. And finally, a friend of mine who was a banker in Griffin, Georgia, actually gave me um, the two books that are the base of, of Alcoholics Anonymous. Now, I wasn't drinking, but I had precisely the symptoms of somebody who was collapsing under this weight. And I found myself, uh, you know, as an emerging national figure, reading the big book and trying to understand where I had failed and why I was empty and why I had to turn to God. And I, th I think that had I not had that experience and I had not had that intervention, I might literally have collapsed totally. And, and that was really the beginning of turning my life around and beginning to, to help me understand. And, and it's, you know, I'm, I've been very, very fortunate, very blessed. Clist uh, uh, and I have a wonderful marriage. Uh, we're very close to, to our two daughters, Kathy and Jackie, and their husbands. And I'm, as many of you know, I'm extremely close to Maggie and Robert, who are the two grand, my two grandchildren. But all of that has required a great deal of pain, some of which I have caused, others which I regret deeply. All of it has required having to go to God to seek both uh, reconciliation, but also to seek God's acceptance that I had to recognize how limited I was and how much I had to depend on him. And I was asked at one of the events we did how, whether I'd be comfortable with somebody who was an atheist as president. And I answered uh, from the heart, which is I said no. And the reason is simple. I think if it's, you know, we once had a friend who was a recovering alcoholic who was approached by a federal official who said, you know, if, if you all could drop the second step, we could fund the other 11 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous. But the second step is the one that says you recognize there's a higher being. And he said to me, he said, I think you misunderstand why it works. <laughs> and if you said to me, we were electing somebody who believed that they by themselves were strong enough to be President of the United States, I would tell you that person terrifies me because they completely misunderstand how weak and how limited any human being is. <laughs>